friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I have quite a big haul for, for you from two stores. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because we do grocery hauls every Saturday and I upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is how I lost 90 pounds in 2022, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and our Facebook group. Come join us there. We would love to have you. So let me flip you around and let's jump into this week's grocery haul. So the first part of this week's grocery haul is actually from Trader Joe's. I like to make a Trader Joe's run when I'm at chemo with Lola, so I picked up a few things for the week and then a few things for Troy while I'm gone this next week on my trip to New Orleans. So I grabbed some turkey burgers. I thought this would be quick, simple lunches or even dinners for me. They have only 160 calories and 22 grams of protein. So that's really, really good. They're frozen and just easy to keep on hand. I also got some more of the frozen hash browns. Troy really likes these. You can just toss these in your toaster. And I love making avocado toast out of these. I've shared that a few times on my channel. I'll definitely share it again if you're new or if you missed those videos because seriously, the best avocado toast. I also bought some fresh cut up fruit. This was only three. $3.99 and there's cantaloupe, honeydew melon, grapes, and some pineapple. Again, I thought really easy, convenient snack to have. Got this little salami provolone cheese pack thing. This is actually what I ate for lunch while Lola was at the doctor. I didn't finish it. I only ate about half. Really good. It has some Genoa salami and some provolone cheese. I also had some of these. These are my favorite things from Trader Joe's. I really, really love these. I actually bought two bags. These are the organic Cacaccio e Pepe Puffs. I never say that right. Basically, it's like a cheese and pepper snack. These are Amazing. So I actually had that and the little meat pack for lunch. I also picked up some blueberry muffins for Troy and then I got home and he said, oh, we have all the ones from Costco in the freezer. I forgot. So now he has more blueberry muffins. I told him to eat these first since they're not frozen. And then one of my coaching clients was telling me about a really good protein shake that she makes using these dark pitted cherries from Trader Joe's. And you know, I just got the brand new Motivate protein powder and it's incredible. And I thought the chocolate protein powder and frozen cherries would be such a good, delicious blended protein shake. And I did pick up a couple more packs of my favorite ginger. I got two. I like to have a piece of this after my meals. It definitely, definitely helps with digestion, especially if you eat a heavy meal. It just really helps everything digest a lot easier. And this is honestly my favorite bread. I love the Trader Joe's sprouted wheat multigrain bread. There's protein in here, there's fiber in here. It's so good, so I picked up a loaf. And then Troy loves cashews, so I got a huge bag. These are only $7.99, which is a really good deal for a whole cashews, and that way he has those for a snack. I also restocked my unsweetened applesauce because I'm completely out, and I really do like this organic one from Trader Joe's. The mother loaded dog treats, of course. I did grab the salmon jerky, the beef recipe jerky sticks, the chicken recipe jerky sticks, the better than leftovers. These are some of my dog's favorites. These are little soft chews soft treats that are inspired by your dinner table. Roast beef, gravy, cheese, sweet potato, and apple pie assorted flavors. And then I haven't bought these in forever. These are the beef recipe rolls. And then I also got the dog treat assorted natural flavor of dog biscuits. So I love Trader Joe's dog treats. Super, super affordable and good clean ingredients. Last time I bought the ginger cookie thins. This time I bought the Meyer lemon because you guys said that these are really good and I thought these would be amazing on protein pudding, especially a vanilla protein shake, cheesecake protein pudding. I don't even know if they make lemon pudding. They might. And then crumble some of these on top. Sounds really good. I got four bags of the soft and juicy mangoes. These are my favorite dried fruit. I said I like the ones from Sprouts, but the Trader Joe's ones are even better. I count these as zero points because they have the same macros as regular dried mango. So I count them as zero points. I love them as a sweet treat. I'm going to take a bag with me on my trip. And then of course, light shredded cheese. I would have gotten light shredded mozzarella, but they didn't have any. So I just got the light shredded uh, three cheese blend. 
And then we love this. Troy really likes this. This is the Noki Gorgonzola. Super easy. You just throw it in a pan and warm it up and you have an amazing, amazing side. It kind of gives me Alfredo vibes with the Noki. Really good. Can I help you? Why every time I do a grocery haul for our friends, do you whine? And this little one just got back from chemo. She's doing so good. And I picked up their seasonal candle. It's grapefruit. It smells so good. These are only $3.99. Baking powder because I am completely out. You already know. These are my favorite crackers. I tell everybody about these crackers. They're so good. I'm actually going to have them for dinner tonight with a tuna packet, I think. I just really love them. They're so buttery and they have these really good grain flavor. Super, super delicious. And then I grabbed the reduced fat cheese puffs. Troy likes these. We used to buy these all the time in Washington when we went camping. So it's kind of nostalgic and they're really, really good. And then last but not least, I bought a papaya only because papaya sounds amazing for fruit for the week. So the second half of this week's haul is from Fry's, which is my local Kroger store. So let me show you what I picked up. First is paper plates because they're very convenient. And these ones from the Kroger brand are actually really nice quality for the price. I want to say it was $3 and 70 cents for 48 plates. So not a bad price. I also got Troy a gallon of skim milk. He's been having a lot of cereal. So we're going through quite a bit of milk. And then I'm almost out of my Siggy's non-fat Greek yogurt. I love mixing protein powder into this for a sweet treat with lots of protein and the Fa A was on sale, so I picked that up. Also on sale were Lilies. Normally they're like $9.99 and they were on sale for $5.99. So I got the semi-sweet baking chips. You know I use Lilies chocolate chips a lot in my meal preps. And then I did pick up one Good Culture Cottage Cheese Funny story, the other Good Culture, I actually grabbed it and then good thing I looked at the expiration date because it expired on April 3rd and it's April 10th that I'm filming today's video. So I was like, okay, that's a no. But I did find one more that doesn't expire for a couple more weeks, so I picked that up. And then I needed the Bolt House Chunky Blue Cheese dressing for my meal prep. It's been a long time since I had Bolt House, so I'm excited to have that again. And then Kroger always has a little clearance section and these were $3.11. These are the skinny dipped almonds and strawberry lemonade. These are seasonal. Usually the summer skinny dipped almonds. So good. I'm going to take those with me on my trip to New Orleans this next week. And then popcorn. You already know. My favorite lesser evil is the Himalayan pink salt. Troy's is the Himalayan gold. So I picked up a bag of each. Some canned tomatoes. I have a couple of just diced tomatoes in tomato sauce. And then one fire roasted dice. These are organic from the Simple Truth brand. I need one of those for my meal prep. Also, Troy's heading out for a little bit today and I thought this would also be something I could take with me on my trip. These are the little turkey sticks and Colby Jack cheese snack packs. You get three of them for $4. Protein and only 140 calories and they're actually really, really good. And then I needed some one third less fat cream cheese for a recipe as well as some spaghetti. I'm making kind of a taco spaghetti you guys will see it in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. So I decided to go ahead and grab Protein Plus because we're all about the protein and this is going to give us some much more protein than regular pasta. Some fully cooked bacon because it's easy and I need that for my lunch meal prep. And then over in the meat section, they have this pack of Simple Truth natural, cage-free, no antibiotic chicken breast. $11, normally almost $20. So that was a steal. I'm just going to package them up in one pound Ziploc bags and throw them in my freezer. I also got some more cereal for Troy. This is his favorite, the Kashi Toasted Berry Crisp. And then my neighbor's baby shower is this weekend. So I'm going to make a kind of girl themed cake or cupcakes, I'm not sure yet. So I picked up the Funfetti cake mix. I just thought that that would be kind of a fun thing to bring to the shower. And then I grabbed a couple more sugar-free puddings for protein pudding. I was out of banana cream and out of cheesecake, so I picked up one of each of those. I am completely out of lemon and lime juice, and these huge ones were on sale for $2. I love lime juice on my papaya that I bought at Trader Joe's. And then I got a big lemon juice as well. And then for some extra produce for the week, other than what I grabbed at Trader Joe's, I picked up some strawberries. I saw this strawberry whip cheesecake something dessert 
on Instagram. We'll make it in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, but I thought that I would get some strawberries so I could try out that recipe. And then I needed some romaine lettuce for my lunch meal prep, as well as an avocado and some tomatoes for lunch prep, and then some cilantro for a dinner recipe. What you don't see is a case of Diet Coke and some Gatorade Zero. Those are already out in the garage, ready to get put away in the garage fridge. So let's jump into what's on my menu for dinners. It's a short week with my trip and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So I have a pretty short menu this week. I am actually leaving Wednesday to go to New Orleans, so I have that kind of all blocked out. Today, Saturday, we're gonna go out for dinner. We've got some leftovers to finish up tomorrow. And then Monday, I'm actually going to be making taco spaghetti. You'll see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned for that. And then Tuesday, we'll finish up these leftovers before I head out of town. Here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So I am going to meal prep even though it's a short week. And on for breakfast, I'm going to make lemon ricotta protein pancakes. I'm able to kind of half these recipes to have enough for the first part of the week before I fly out. So I'm going to do that for breakfast. Lunch, I'm making Cobb salad wraps. And then for dessert, I'm making cinnamon sugar donuts. It's been a long time since I made a donut, so I'm excited for that. So stay tuned for all three recipes on Monday. Thank you for joining me for this week's big grocery haul from two stores. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're not because we do grocery hauls every Saturday. And I, like I said, I upload five videos every single week. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you for watching. Happy Saturday. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.